Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. says the ramble that must be us and we're here until midnight tonight on the east coast of the united states and a happy happy new week to all of you uh and this is my new shirt 81 years okay 81 years i'm gonna keep buying these until i can't buy them anymore <clears throat> that's morbid anyway hi how are you uh you know this is a monday that on Monday, uh, we uh, we kind of uh, do something uh, a little special. Well, it's not special. I don't know if we would call it uh, if we would call it special. But let me show you who we got here. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely and attractive Phil Meyer. How are you, Phil? All right. Uh, I uh, I just heard that uh, Tony lost his mom. Oh, and you just heard. Oh, I, it was, it, I want to express my condolences. Yeah, I, I guess I should have written you about it. Uh, yeah, well, uh, Alan called me and said that he was listening to your uh, Monday show. Yeah, yeah. The Monday show. Right. And, uh, that's where you mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tony lost his mom uh, to COVID. First death. I, I, do I know anybody else? Do you know anybody that's died of COVID? Uh, yeah, a couple, a couple of people I, I, I knew, you know, I wasn't really close with, but, uh, -huh. uh yeah. I, I knew them. Yeah. Yeah. This is the first one I think that I really have kind of, I don't know, didn't know her, but I know the son, you know, and, uh, I felt really bad about it. Really bad yeah, about me it. Me too. Me too. It's, it's, it's really unfortunate. One of those kind of things that just, you know, you go, it's not right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, nothing's fair in life. Uh, but uh, the good news is I'm 81 years old. So, uh, <laughs> and you don't have COVID. Uh, uh, not I, yet. Not yet. Yeah. Well, you're going to get you're going to get the injection. Uh, yes, I'm uh, getting the injection uh, on the 20th. OK. Uh, um, and uh, now the, what they did, they, they keep changing the rules every day. And it kind of worries me. OK, because. Uh, it, it, it was being 60, 60, 80 years old or 81, those over 75 were supposed to be in 1B. And 1B wasn't supposed to hit until I figured the middle of February, maybe, you know? Yeah. Uh, but instead, uh, it came last Monday and we signed on through a hellacious system here in New York. I, 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 heard, I heard about that, like 51 questions. I don't uh, know. Was it 51 questions? I think that's what the news said. Now, the, Gee, the for Passover, you only get four questions, you know? Yeah, well, you Jews get a discount. Yeah. But, uh, you know, when uh, the California and New York are both uh, having issues with the rollout of the vaccine, mm -hmm. uh, uh, of the uh, of of the people that were eligible, only, what, 36 uh, thirty-six percent took the vaccine in New York, and thirty-four in California, or the other way around. Well, I don't know exactly how many did and didn't. Okay, uh, all I know is that we heard, we knew that on Monday we would be able to sign up because we were over over sixty, over eighty, <laughs> over seventy-five. Right. Both Marjorie and I. So she got online at three fifteen in the morning. And just, it was hellacious. She couldn't get onto it. And then I went and tried it, and it wasn't working either. But then they had a thing that said, or you can go to this link. So I went to that link, and there I started being asked the hellacious amount of questions. The worst question was, it was a list of questions, okay? Yeah. Uh, and you had yes and no. And you had to click yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Well, there was, for the most part, there were only two of them you would have to answer yes to. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you know, 
one of which was whatever was applicable to you, like are you do you work for the police department, do you do this, do you do that? And then there's one that, down at the bottom that says, are you 75 or older? And I went, yes, but I had to do no, 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 no. You would think if somebody wrote this thing right, they would just have you have yes, and you just answered yes to the questions that were applicable to you. My mother must have written the questions because anytime I asked her something as a kid, she would always say no. <laughs> so yeah. I yeah. didn't get the question. I mean, but it was mad no. because there were about 20 of those. Yeah. And uh, finally, finally, we get all the way over and then we got to pick the place to do it. And there's a the school down the street where we voted is the mm -hmm. place they're going to be doing it. And they had like three days open, no, none up until that date. And three days after that, nothing. Now, I don't know why three days after that, nothing. Maybe they just weren't booking past that point. But we booked in and we got the 20th at uh, 1 10 p.m. Well, I, I think that's great. Well, you know, then, they, then they sent me a letter saying, and the day of the uh, of the thing, ready yeah. for this, the day of the thing, you will get a, a, a notification by email, and it will uh, send you someplace where you have to answer some more questions. Wow. Oh. Okay. And then you will be given a, uh, uh, what do you call those, one of those things, uh, those, those squares oh. with the stuff in them, you know, the uh, QRs. QR. Oh, yeah. 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 Or you, we'll get, be, you'll be given a QR. You will not be admitted unless you have an ID number or the QR. Well, I have an ID number, so I can just bring that with me. But I hope I get the other part of it okay. Otherwise, I said, your, your, your inoculation may be delayed. Well, that, that's so ambiguous, you know, maybe. Do you think there's a chance that they're going to use Clorox? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, and then I don't know about the second shot, you know, because what they're doing now, and this is the CDC, which I think is... Or four weeks, depending on which one it is. Yeah, I think maybe, I think this one's going to be Moderna, but I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, I you, think... You don't know till you get there. Four weeks. Huh? Is Moderna the four week and Moderna is the... the four week. Yeah, the reason I think it's going to be the Moderna is I don't know that this high school has a freezer that has that kind of capacity. Although they may have installed one for this, I don't know. But the Pfizer came with its own freezer. No, it comes in a box with a dry ice, and then you put it into a freezer that's uh, 100 degrees below zero. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, but it, so it might be Moderna. It doesn't matter. They're both about the same. I don't think there's much difference. Uh, and um, But then you have to go back and make an appointment to do the four-week if that's the case, or the three week. And you and, have to go back online or do they give you the, I don't, I have no idea. I'm already registered online. Okay. Mm -hmm. So every time I go to that place now, it just simply has my appointment availability. So at that yeah. point, it may just say, sign up to go here to sign up for your next shot. It may do that. I don't yeah. know. I have no idea. But the thing that's terrible is what the CDC has done is they've said, well, you know, we just want to get so many people injected. We're just not going to hoard uh, a whole supply for the second one. Well, that's because the rollout hasn't been going as planned. And I guess the science, the science has changed because now uh, uh, they're opening up your economy uh, and uh, they're doing it because they can't wait any longer. Uh, it's it's going to it's going to kill the economy. It's strange. It's very funny. Well, that, that... Uh, you know, we, uh, we've we got to kill the economy as long as it doesn't kill people. You know, well, you know, and, and... It, but there's a spike now, and uh, Cuomo's opening it up. Now, de Blasio, on the other hand, uh, I was really, uh, the first time I ever saw him say anything sane, which was, hey, uh, we have so, uh, so few people taking the the vaccine that uh, we're just going to give it to, uh, to to other people that are... Well, what he did is he, he a couple of days ago, asked the governor to change his mind about who could get it and who couldn't. He said people over 75 should start getting it. Okay. But the governor shot him down. Uh, didn't shoot him down. No, that was just... He, finally, the governor, we now got a thing from the governor saying, well, actually, it's gone down yeah. to 65 and over. 
Yeah. And the reason it has is the CDC said 65 and over. But the problem is you got to get that second shot. Now, it's at a minimum of, say, four weeks or three weeks, depending upon uh, the company. Right. But uh, there's no maximum. So I guess you could wait for the second shot, but you don't want to wait too long. So uh, the question is going to be what what gives with the second shot, you know, because the government now has decided they want to release everything, even the stuff they have for the second shot out there so that people can be inoculated. Uh, I guess I don't know. It affords us, what, 70 percent protection without the second shot? Uh, I, I don't know that they tested it with just the first shot. Well, I read somewhere it was 52 percent effective. Okay, or something like that. And then somebody, I think it was Brian, said it's more like 70% effective. Uh, and I imagine if you get COVID, it probably mitigates it a bit, I would imagine. Uh, yeah. But I want to get that second shot, you know. And uh, the government's going to go releasing all the, all the uh, you know, and the CDC is doing this. And, of course, Biden's not there to be, not, not president yet, so he can't yay or nay it, you know. Uh, you know, they're, they're making more. It, it's not as if uh, they're... Uh, yeah, but are they, are they making enough? You see, you got to realize that if we say we want, uh, uh, you know, 300 million dose of people to be inoculated, well, that's really 600 million doses because yeah. you, it's two shots. But, I mean, uh, uh, Cuomo was going crazy today over the fact that... Here, here's what they said, the, the CDC... It's now 65 and over. And he said, well, that, that presents a real problem to us because we only get 300 a, a week, you know, all right? 300. Uh, 300,000 300, doses. 300,000 doses. Uh, he said, so that presents a problem if you're now adding 65 and over. And then they added another category. And this one is really, I, I don't know who, who is it. Where where do they get these guys for the CDC from? Uh, the local, the, the John's at a local whorehouse. I mean, come on. They said, and anybody who might have uh, a uh, 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 something that gives them low immunity. Oh, uh, you mean uh, that they're uh, they're compromised? Well, they're they're com they have a compromised immunity. Well, you know who that includes, among other people. Cigarette smokers. Well, yeah. Yeah. And and other people who you just go, well, wait a minute, alcoholics. They yeah. probably have had a compromised immunity. I mean, they just they just said compromised immunity. They didn't make rules for what is a compromise, you know, a, a compromising uh, immunity. It's just so I mean this thing it, I just want to get that shot, that first shot in my arm. I'll worry about the second one. Yeah, well, but, blame Trump. And then you wait. Then, no, then you go three weeks before it. You go about two weeks before you have immunity. You don't have immunity the minute you walk out the door. Yeah. You know? uh, well, uh, my mom lives in uh, lives with my sister, and my sister lives in Tennessee, outside mm -hmm. of Nashville. Yeah. And their county only gets three hundred tests. Uh, a, a week or a month I, i'm not quite sure uh so she's 92 my sister signed her up and there was 700 people ahead of her so she thinks it's going to take a month uh before she gets uh uh called up well shecky signed up today he's going to the javits to get his he's 65 years old so he can get it now and he uh, signed up and uh it's sick he's going to the javits center to get it done, and he's getting it on March 6th. So it's two months away for him. You oh, know, wow. We signed up really early. If we if we had been able to get in early, oh, and then I, I, I sign up, right, going through all this, and then I get a thing from Mount Sinai. Hey, you can come see us. Here, here's how to sign up, here. And the, well, and the closest date on that one was the 22nd, so I figured I only have to walk a block and a half, and it's two days earlier. You right, know. you save cab fare. Yeah, and I assume the people are going to be giving the shots. It's, it's a it, they're usually calling it a uh, New York uh, Health Department hub. Okay, so they're yeah. using it as a hub, and I'm sure they're going to have you know the right stuff there and everything. I don't. Your schools are closed, right? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So it's yeah. a good use of the property. And even if it is open, it's in, I think it's in the gymnasium. Mm-hmm. So what we can do is, you know, get our shot and then have a dance. I don't know. You know. Yeah, I'll meet you under the bleachers. <laughs> yeah. Well, we only got about 10 minutes left and we haven't yet gotten into politics. You know, I tell you, people really hate you. Can I yeah. say that? Yeah, yeah, well, that's that's good. That's uh, I get you know, more, you used to I, be. I, I like segregated you from the rest of the show, and I'm getting heat for that. Well, you used yeah. to be the guy they love to hate. You yeah, know that yeah. was your uh, that was your position. Yeah, right. Well, I, I guess I'm. But the uh, word there was love to hate. In your case, the word love never comes up. <laughs> well, uh, well, you know, let's. Uh, Let's let's look at what's going on yeah. with this uh, impeachment, this rush rush to impeachment. Uh, you know, I think that uh, the Republicans don't want uh, the stink on their hands yeah. and feel that Trump is toxic at this point he and trying to separate themselves. Yeah. Also, they don't want Trump to have power uh, and his audience. So what uh, what's also happening is between Facebook, Twitter, uh, and uh, a number of other social medias. Well, in the case of Parler, they've been shut down because Amazon, who probably they get their their servers they, through they Amazon host- Web ser- Services, which I do for my uh, my Roku channel, believe it or yeah. not. Uh, and they said we don't want your business. So you know, it became a. Yeah, became a kind of horrible, a kind of a terrible thing for them. But, you know, I got to tell you something, Phil, and, and you're a Republican, and I don't see how you can disagree with this because you're all for business. Um, these people are making a business decision as well. I mean, it's their, it's their store. They can tell you, hey, you don't have shoes on, you can't come in. You know? I think that the, uh, the Section 230 should have been eliminated. I mean, that was something that was created in 1996. 230 did what? Uh, pardon me? It gave them protections, didn't it? Right. It said they couldn't be sued. Yeah. Well, they're, they're worried about, listen, they're worried about the public as a whole. They, if, if they feel that what Trump is publishing is, uh, is not good for the public well-being, as it were, that that uh, and and it has proved that his words have caused problems. Uh, they have every right to do it. You know, they have they. It's their shop. They have their rules. So, you know, if I if I do things on this show that YouTube doesn't like, then I'm not on YouTube anymore. You know what you're doing by you know having conversation with me is you're actually uh, opening up. Uh, a dialogue that is being silenced right now by uh, by other venues. Uh, and, I don't know and- that it's being silenced because I think other right wingers haven't had their accounts taken away. They certainly can can say how they feel about things. They can even say they uh, they feel Trump didn't do anything wrong. You know that's not why Trump's being taken off. It's because they consider their his uh, his actions incendiary. And they're worried about that for the public good. Yeah, well, they're they're, they're trying to keep things clean, yeah. uh, especially un, until the election, uh, not the election, the inauguration, because uh, supposedly there's been some communication that there's going to be protests at different state capitals, mm-hmm. and uh, that can't be good. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I I wasn't for uh, anything but a rally and uh, and a march. And I and I felt that that's what Trump wanted, uh, but I was disappointed that Trump didn't try to uh, uh, corner the these people that were trying to take over. He, the, didn't, he uh, didn't. He didn't go online and mention a word about it. Like, hey, I don't like what I'm seeing. Stop. You no, know, there was nothing. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And and for that, and, I fault and, him. And, well, I think no. Here's what I. Uh, here, you know, I. He, either he is the stupidest man alive or he really wanted to make trouble. I mean, you had to know that you were saying things that were would be incendiary to certain people. You got to realize he knew who that crowd was out there. They not only were just, you know, Trumpers, but they were also white supremacists and they were proud boys and they were all the 
all the all the real troublemakers on the right that the right doesn't even want to associate themselves with. And well, he he had to know, or if he didn't know, then he was the most unthinking person to know that his words would have consequences. Yeah, well, I think that by telling them to make a lot of noise uh, and uh, let the senators know how they felt uh, was probably... He didn't probably... noise. You know, you got to remember, there were two speeches before his, and it was Rudy Giuliani saying, you know, let's create, I don't know, create uh, whatever, let's, let's make trouble here or something like that. And, and you had Don Jr., he was getting incendiary. And when Trump came on, basically he just said, march down there, I'm marching with you. That's the part I love. And then he never marched with them. No. You know, uh, he just went home. Well, they, you know, they, he may have been forced to go home. And, uh, and reportedly, reportedly he sat in, either in his quarters or in the Oval Office watching it all play out on TV, laughing and really no, that happy that it was thing. happening. What? I saw that. Uh, no, no, the, that, that was a different thing. That was before <laughs> before the speech. Prior to his speech. Right. But afterwards, supposedly the reports were in the White House. He was sitting there watching television saying, isn't this wonderful? Isn't this terrific? You know, I can't believe any. Well, any well, thing. you know, you've got people who are leaving him like crazy. There are other people who are not because they feel it's important for them to stay there to try and keep him from doing stuff. Also, he. The only way you can have a peaceful transition mm -hmm. is to have a transition. If right. all of a sudden everybody leaves, uh, then there's nobody to, to create a transition. Let me ask you this question, though. Uh, if a person becomes president of the United States, you know, we like to think that we have freedom of speech in this country. You can say anything you want to. But when you become president, you have to be careful about what you say. J just in general, because it affects other places in the world who might... You could cause a war if you said the wrong thing. Well, so that what he got, went out and did was a purely selfish act. It was like, go to, go to the Capitol and save my job. Uh, I, I'm not... I, very I selfish. That. Very selfish, Phil. I don't care what you say. Uh, and you, I, you even I, wrote I, me. I, you, oh. you even wrote me and said you were disappointed in him. Yeah, well, uh, and and rightfully so. I mean, there's a lot of people that are disappointed in him. It's just that I'm I like uh, I still like Trump. I mean, I uh, and what, I'm what, what's great, to like about this selfish grateful, I am grateful for what he has done for the last three and a half, almost four years. This move was uh, was a mistake, and it unfortunately is going to overshadow all the good that he did. Mm. Well. And, you know, his legacy is toast. Yeah, legacy is ruined. In I mean, fact, uh, in fact, Richard any any, <laughs> any business he wants to do afterwards, he's never going to be able to reclaim his business either. Uh, Deutsche you know, Bank, Deutsche Bank just bailed out of him. Yeah, well, uh, they PGA uh, pulled their uh, mm -hmm. uh, whatever PGA does, their golf tournament yeah. in Bedminster, uh, New Jersey. Uh, they pulled that right. now. Uh, will that will that bankrupt Trump? No, no. It's, I think it, he's bankrupt already, Phil. It's just a prestige thing. I think he's bankrupt already. Well, how much he's been raising money for four years? How many? Well, well, be well I, I, he, he's he's not supposed to use that money. Well, for that. Hey, yeah. if they throw him out, it's his money. <laughs> you know. I think he's got to probably leave the country after this is over. No, I I have a feeling that. Uh, Things will blow over just like they did with Nixon. It's going to take time. Uh, you know, there's a lot. He has a lot of support. He, ha, you know, you got to remember what Nixon did pales by comparison to what happened last Wednesday. No, because Nixon covered something up. He the covered Trump, he covered something up, but he Trump didn't Trump. cause damage to the Capitol. He didn't have a bunch of people go in and stop the wheels of the government in what is called and is very it, rightfully a, an insurrection. You, he didn't call for that. He did not call for that. There was nothing in his speech that said go I heard to this, the I heard the speech, and what I heard absolutely was that. Well, I heard it also, and I saw the transcript. There is nothing in there that, you know, he, he said, uh, you know, Phil, go Phil, make some Phil, noise. Phil, what did they do? Uh, they... Uh, 
they rioted. And he and said, he said, march down Pennsylvania Avenue and go to the Capitol and tell them how you feel. And right. they turned around, they went down, they tore the place apart. Well, I, uh, you know, he what, could have told them, thank you so much for coming here. Now go back to where you live and let's try and change things for the better. Blah, 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 blah. But no, he what, told them to march down Pennsylvania right, Avenue. Well, hey, every other group has marched down Pennsylvania Avenue. They even renamed the street Black Lives Matter Avenue. You know, uh, so it's not anything that anyone else no. hasn't done, and it's free Phil, speech. I think I think you are you're getting out, really getting out of the mainstream now, because a lot of Republicans are, are beginning to feel that they don't want to be in that camp where people think that they liked what happened at the Capitol. I don't like what happened, but I do still support Trump, and I'm I'm not a fair weather. Trumper. Here's why. Okay, we got to go because it's time for the other people to get their two cents worth in. But let me just say there are several reasons why he should be uh, and why we shouldn't invoke the 25th Amendment. Uh, Chris Cuomo was on a few minutes ago talking about the 25th Amendment and saying the 25th Amendment is a remedial amendment. It's not meant as a punitive amendment. Right. That, exactly. uh, that uh, 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 taking this guy and impeaching him, that's punitive. And right. that, uh, you know, that way, uh, I mean, even now, uh, what's his name? Uh, McConnell is yeah. all for having him impeached. And well, bring- that's because uh, McConnell has moved on. He's looking to protect himself. He's looking to protect the Republican, Republican Party. Party. Exactly. Right. And, and, so, yeah, and so, so, so he's going to get nailed once it gets to the Senate. OK, uh, they're going to get those 17 votes they need from the Republicans. I, I don't think so. Uh, I think okay. it's going to be close, but I don't think they're going to get the votes. Well, we'll see here. Listen, I, I got to go uh, uh, because uh, there are other people that want to probably say how you're a piece of shit. So, <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, uh, I'll wipe twice. But, you know, I have uh, I have you on because I like the other side to be heard as insane as it may be. You aren't a QAnon person yet, so, you know. Well, you know, and I didn't have a parlor account, but I did disengage Twitter. I said, well, if Trump's no longer on Twitter, I'm not going to be on Twitter. So I, I got rid of Twitter. Yeah, and you know some well, few people I follow. They, they really miss you. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, their business is falling apart because you left. Well, I, I think that uh, their stock went down is well, that is was something- last week or something oh okay anyway hey listen uh, thank you so much phil for being with me again tonight and we'll see you next week oh, look uh, unless a lynch mob comes and tells me that i can't you know yeah anyway. well screw them <laughs> if they can't take a joke see you later <laughs> bye okay. that's uh that's that's phil okay and uh that's him and what he does best which is what he does best uh, anyway, let me see here. Uh, we should probably admit all the people that want to get admitted here. Uh, and uh, they're all jumping online. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen. There's uh, Brian Neary, and there's Jeff, and there's me, and there's Charlie Wallace, and there's Alan. How are you guys this evening? I need to throw okay. up. Okay. What? You need what? To throw up. To throw right. up. Well. You know, I mean, that's Phil. Come on, you know. Um, I, I just what Giuliani. Remember what Giuliani say? Or what combat he say? Com- mode. Combat, combat for whatever he said. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was the whole presentation that became a real problem. You know, so whatever. Anyway, it's uh, so. Uh, uh, let me see here. A couple of things. Yeah, I, I'm getting my. Marjorie and I are getting our COVID shot. Who knows if the second one will ever come? Can you go? Can you go, Brian? Can you go with only one shot for a while? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. They're you know the booster they want. They want you to take, but yeah. But yeah. that's what I was saying before. They 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 have so many, but then when it comes to that three week part. They have to have double doses or stuff set aside for everybody else. Yeah, well, what happened to CDC today said, well, we're not going to keep the double doses around. We're going to get everybody their first shot now. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's a wise idea. You know. Yeah. How about how about you, Charlie? Uh, how, what's happening in Texas with the COVID shots? Wait, wait, who's, 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 got, who's, who's got their, their thing on? 
Is that you, Todd? Do you have your uh, Do you have your speaker on there? Are you listening? Yeah, to I it? hope I got it on. Give me one second. No, 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 I want you to not have it on. Can you hear me? I want you to not. Can you hear me? It. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Mm -hmm. You're good. You're good. Kind of make your camera a little bit. Put your head in the middle of the picture a little more. That'd be nice. Texas doesn't have any vaccine. Texas mm -hmm. doesn't. Vaccinating the the old people and the uh, and the health workers. The old people. Oh yeah, the, you're the old people in nursing homes. Not even the old people. Even if you're 80 years old, you can't get it unless you're in a nursing home. Really? Because but they don't have enough vaccines. Okay, here. but but how old are you now? I'm 70. I'll be 71 next month. Okay. Well, you're you according to the CDC now, you qualify for getting the vaccine. Yep. And my doctor says that I won't be getting it until March or April. Oh boy. Well, they don't have a vaccine yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm on uh, I'm going to be tested pretty shortly. What do you mean what do you mean but, tested? Well, tomorrow I have to go through and uh, start signing up the system. Yeah. In other words, they put my name on it and they said you're okay. What but I have to fi fill out this Evan 800,000 questions. But they haven't given it to me yet. They're gonna oh, give I it see. To so me you got tomorrow. a different system there. See, I, I signed yeah. into the New York City system. I know. Uh, if I'd gone to the state, it would have been a different kind of sign in. The thing over at Mount Sinai was again another kind of sign in. I know. You know, so I mean, it was really you know. <clears throat> and then they wanted the back and the front of my uh, photograph of my uh, uh, my what do you call it? My insurance card. Mm -hmm. Insurance. And I decided, uh, I try. I did it once, and then I had to do it again, and I had to do it again. Finally, I just decided I won't put it in there. Let me just put next and see what happens. And it didn't stop me. It didn't say you have to have the pictures of the, of the uh, you know, because I can show it to them when I go there. And, and what they're going to need primarily is my Medicare card, not my health insurance card, you know. So it's ridiculous. Okay. It's all ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and so, so you know, you know how, how you can tell when you're getting old. How? Last night I was watching your Monday get together during the, mm -hmm. but I was watching it at night, mm -hmm. and I've never watched it, and known most of the people that were in it, mm -hmm. and so I thought I was actually on it, so I raised my hand. <laughs> And about, you know, and I can't see myself. And I'm like, I must have lost my connection. Did they call on you? And then, <laughs> there you go, Robert. That, you know, so I, I, and then I realized I lost my connection because I'm not even on the damn show. <laughs> Do you remember your question? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't. And it was just, I'm like, holy shit, I turned 62. And I'm going to ask it now. Alive. We'll play along. Yeah. <laughs> What was that, Robert? If you want to ask your question now, we'll play along. Okay, good, good. Yeah. So you did. So you thought that the show was live when you watched it? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I raised my hand, and I'm like, where am I? I got. But you lost. didn't even sign into the show. So why would you raise your hand? Because I'm That's six. Called a senior moment. My brain. I don't know. That's right. A senior moment. I don't. I'm senior, and I don't have those kind of moments. Yes, Todd. Uh, I do. Yes, Todd. <laughs> Very sorry. I'm 40, I think 47 or 40 something. I keep lying about my age, but I still do that. I'm always waving on a show and I'm never even online. Now I don't feel so bad. You're welcome, sir. I'm just being honest. Yeah. I watch it all the time and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm online? Wait a minute. Oh, my bad. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. I thought I said something. You know, and cut somebody off, but I didn't. I wasn't online. Did you? Did you actually um, say how much? How old did you say you are? My real age. Oh, now you see, you shouldn't lie about your age. <laughs> Can't remember because you lie. Well, I believe I. Well, I keep asking my dad. You know how old I am. Um, I am. I was born in six twenty four seventy two. I believe I am. 47 or 8. I don't know. That makes 48. 
Yeah, it'd be 49 yeah. Does anybody have to, uh, the ability to do some quick math on that? <laughs> 48. I, I lie to the women all the time. Hi, <laughs> hi, Vernon. I uh, no, yeah, I had this. Helps. No, but I had this deal where where I had a woman once say to me, "What you should do is always say you old, you're older than you are." Because <laughs> if you uh, if you say what your real age is, they'll go, "Boy, he looks like shit for his age." Not but when you're trying you to pick say, up on a girl. If you say, not when you're trying to pick up on a girl. If you say you're older, okay, <laughs> then they go, "Gee, looks great for his age," right? I mean, I'm really only 45, but I tell everybody I'm 81 I'm so that, you know, the, you know, the uh, whole thing matches, you know. But. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so, uh, anyway, it's, uh, it, it, things keep going on out there. It just, you know, it, 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 we, we, again, we, we, we can't have a day. Even now, where we don't mention Trump, yeah. you know, where he's not in the news. Today, he was down looking at his three inches of wall, you know, yeah. telling everybody, hands. this is 750 miles that I've put in here. But it isn't. They have 750 miles of wall, but they fixed some of it. Am I right, Deb? Robert, am I getting yeah. this all? They wrong? also they also had to walk around all the ladders and the poles for pole vaulting. <laughs> they were they were strewn all over the ground. Right, yeah. right. Um, Actually, they had some uh, sawzalls that they had bought from Home Depot to cut through the steel. There you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> really? I heard, I heard that Mexico is now willing to pay for the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep us so out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and Canada wants a wall too. You know, you go. it's hard to believe, but we only have a week. By the way, I'm getting my my vaccination during the inauguration. <clears throat> yep. Wow. Uh, so so is Joe in a way. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to live stream it, Alex? Assuming People are asking me about that. Right. I don't think they're going to let me. I would love to uh, take a video of it. You know. Uh, Maybe you and Marjorie are going together. Maybe Marjorie can can video well, your. Well, she has the same time for her appointment, so she's probably going to be sitting in the chair next to me or something, getting hers. You know? I think we'll see okay. you get a shot. In fact, I'm here to tell you, I've seen every fucking American get a shot on yeah, television. Right? I, well, why? If because they show them all. Right. Yeah. Uh, have you? Uh, what, what's happening over in New Jersey? Are you eligible for the shot yet? They just sent me through my endocrinologist. They just sent me a questionnaire. I don't know what that means in terms of time, but I guess they want me to pre-register. Is that another eighty question questionnaire? I didn't. You know what? I didn't look at it because every time I try to log on to it, this the system is down. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, the system was down. When I tried to get on, and then right at the very bottom, it said, if you're having trouble getting on here, try this link. And I tried that link, and it got me to some place where I could start doing it. So Here's an idea. Maybe yeah. the federal government could have stepped in and organized some of this shit. Just a <laughs> thought. Just yeah. a thought. Yeah, yeah. But I have, for instance, wait a minute, hold on a second. Here, <clears throat> here it is. This is uh, the uh, uh, upcoming appointment thing right there. Ah. All right. You, go. you have the questions there. Uh, tell Jeff the questions so he can study tonight. That's <laughs> right. I don't. You know, to be honest with you, I don't know what the questions are. Buy the cliff uh, notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, I have my appointment thing, and then I got a letter, and it said, uh, uh, "Hold on a second. I'll just uh, read it. Read a little bit of it to you, so you know what's happening here. It's really stupid." Really stupid. Hold on. Uh, the medical. There we go. Uh, I go um, here, and it says, uh, arrived no more than five minutes prior to the scheduled appointment. You know, we, you won't be allowed in for a while. Uh, then it says, uh, you will receive a reminder email on the morning of your appointment with additional screening questions. More? Uh, more. More. <laughs> You must Are complete. You, sure? you must yeah. complete these questions and receive your Q, uh, QR code, scannable barcode. 
If you have not answered the additional questions or received a QR code, your appointment may be delayed. Yep. What's <clears throat> may be delayed? The word may is a very broad term. It is. Maybe you only have one arm. I don't know, but uh, uh, <laughs> I, guess I, I, I guess they will send it to me, and I guess I can answer the questions, but jeez almighty. They don't make I, it easy. I think the reason why Robert can't get on mm -hmm. is because there's 25 questions in New Jersey, and Chris Christie's stuck on number four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, here's the problem. Here's the here's the <laughs> May problem. They've eaten the questionnaire. Here's That's my right. here's my problem with all of this, uh, and I think you will have a tendency to agree with me. Uh, who are we talking about here? We're talking about old people. All right, basically. I'm clogging up. <laughs> Wait a minute. And, and now they're being asked to answer all these questions and to do this and do that. And then they say, OK, here. And then, oh, by the way, the day of, you're going to get an email and you got to answer some more questions. And they got to <clears> figure <throat> out how to go to the link. I mean, these are not people who are yeah. even ready to use computers. Yeah. And who helps them? Their and kids I, yeah. and their kids can't go visit them. Can't so, go be there. Yeah. And then, so they're all clogging up the system. And then, yep. and then, uh, yeah, you're right. And then, uh, 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 you know, they say, well, you can call this phone number if you have trouble running a computer. All right. I can imagine. What, I didn't even try to call the number. How many? Oh how God. long I would have to wait on hold before I got somebody? And then, are they going to ask me these eighty or some odd questions? You know, I mean, it's just it's ridiculous. Just should ridiculous. be one question. Do you want to get COVID? No. no. Okay, bring your arm. Yeah, bring your Set. arm. Do you have Do you an have arm? Yeah. Do By you the have way, insurance? What happens to people who are double amputees? No, brother. Uh, <laughs> I guess they get it. In the, they get a shot in the butt. Oh, I, I see these I kids. I see, see these kids on the Shriners commercials with no arms. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. How do they get? How do they get the COVID? Hey, wow. we, well, we have no place to. We have, don't have an arm for us to put it in. I guess. I guess you could put it in their butt if you had to, right? Yeah, muscle tissue. Mm -hmm. Muscle yeah. tissue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, that one on TV. Yeah. In the leg. <laughs> there you go. In some cases. So we had Tony's why. mother die of COVID on the very day that they made the shots available to people yeah. over 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 seventy five. And, and that's kind of sad, you know. It um, made me cry. O over 4,000 people dying to date because we can't get the damn vaccine out fast enough. 4,400. Yep. Jeez. 4,400? <laughs> yes. Yep. Anyway, you know, Tony's mother would probably still be alive right now if they had this. You know, it, well, I mean, it was, it was a classic story, I think, yep. of how it happened. Uh, and and, and uh, less should be a lesson to everybody, you know, that mm -hmm. just because you have family members coming into the house doesn't mean you're safe. Yep. And the daughter used to come over every couple of days yeah. to give the mother a sponge bath or whatever, and that's very sweet and loving. But she kept doing it, and she went home one night and said, I'm not feeling well. She got a COVID test. Turned out she had COVID. Then the next thing we know, the mother isn't feeling well, and she goes in. But I don't, I don't know. I think they tested her and she didn't have COVID. Uh, but they sent her home. And then Tony wrote me. I woke up this morning, went to wake her up, and she just wouldn't wake up. She wasn't dead, but she wouldn't wake up. Mm -hmm. So I called an ambulance, and now we're just waiting. And they're not allowing us to see her. They're just sending us video of her through iPhones or whatever. And I just, you know, just, my heart just went out to him. You know, I mean, I'll never be able to you know, make I'll never be able to make a joke about wallpaper again. You know, I mean, it, you know, early early on when people got sick, their loved ones couldn't see him, couldn't visit him, nothing. Well, that was what happened to Tony. Wow, I thought that that was over. No, with. no, no, no. It's still, you know, it's terrible. It's just terrible. And then there's the other side of it. That poor woman died alone. You know, like there's yeah. there's two sides yeah. to that point. Yeah. yeah. Although that, I think she I like think that. she was passed out pretty much all the time, and I think wow. they intubated her and it didn't you know it didn't work. Mm -hmm. 
And I mean, I, the reason I feel especially bad is I want that shot now because hell, I'm mm -hmm. the same age she was, you know. That uh, old, huh? Yeah, yeah, that old. Uh, yes, thank you. Yeah, uh, no wonder he didn't let you on Monday. That's right. Uh, <laughs> <And that's laughs> Raise your hand. Nine o'clock at night in California. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hi, Kevin. How are you? Okay. Real sad to hear about Tony's mom. I'm really bummed. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's a bummer. I'm really, Maybe. really bummed. Well, it's somebody that, you know, we, we only do this thing using Zoom, and this is like an internet, stupid little internet show. But all you people have kind of become friends with each other as a result okay. of this, you know? And so when something like that happens to one of us, it happens to all of us. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, well, and, and, uh, and I think that, that's what's <clears throat> wonderful about this group, is that you feel that way, you know? I've uh, never met Tony in my life. I've never met his mom, certainly. And yet, when I got the news listening to the show Monday, I, I, I honestly spent a few hours just thinking about it and him <laughs> and the situation. And I thought, holy cow, the power of us all getting together is is more oh, than yeah. i even imagined oh absolutely and yeah that, and i i think like some people i know when robert when you first got on you said you used to listen to the show with your wife and you used to yell at phil while yeah. you guys were watching him but so i same sort of thing with me is i've listened for years so even before i started calling in i mean i remember charlie moving from i think he went to arizona and then oh, yeah. back there i mean I remember all those stories from you guys from a long time. Right. And so it, even before signing on, man, when I signed on, it's like, I, you know, you, you sort of know you guys already. So probably people are listening to feel the same way. And the people here right now are kind of the core. You know, there's a few others like Patrick and and uh, 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 John Larkin. Rob. And, Rob. and uh, what? And who? And Rob. Rob. Rob, yeah. Rob, Rob Alfano. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, but yeah, I mean, Jason, yeah, Jason, yeah. you know, and it, it, it's just we're all kind of like we're kind of, we're kind of a little family, of dysfunctional as it may be, <laughs> and, but it's amazing how uh, how close we become with each other, and yet uh, I've never been in the same room with Brian or Alan or I've been with Jeff and his wife for lunch, so you don't get included in this discussion, Jeff. Uh, mm. Uh, Robert, I've never met you. Vernon, I've never met you. Never met uh, Todd, you know, never met Kevin. But I feel like I have, you know. When, uh, when you had lunch with Jeff, did he have his sound on? <laughs> <laughs> you just talk like this. Yeah, right, exactly. Well, no, those were in the days. One time of, we took a, a ride, too. Th those were in the days of Skype, and he lost bandwidth constantly. So, you know, yeah. it was, uh, but uh, no, it, it just. Uh, in answer to your question earlier, Alex, I heard you asking about the effectiveness of one shot. Mm -hmm. um, I was with my mom today, taking her to the doctor. And uh, I asked that question to her doctor because we were setting up some cataract surgery for her. And we were, I asked her about the, I asked the doctor about her getting the vaccine and then having the surgery or waiting for the both shots to get done or doing one shot and getting the surgery and having the second shot, which was better and all that. She said that the first shot is 70% effective. And then the second shot just kind of boosts it up to a hundred percent or close to a hundred percent. So that's your answer there. Okay. So the second one isn't as important as just getting the first one. <laughs> right. The first one is really good. The second one makes it best. And they said almost nobody, ever, in fact, I don't think anybody's ever died with one shot. Once you get the shot, you might get sick, but you're not going to die. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's encouraging. Yeah, no, that's very encouraging. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yeah. Vernon. Oh, look, Brian I, Ludwig. I, Hi, heard, Brian. I heard today, I heard today, uh, uh, curious, you know, about how we're going to get notified. Like, I'm, I turned 72 this Friday, mm -hmm. and I was wondering... How are they going to notify people when it's your turn? You know, if you're in the category and everything. Well, so what I did happened, a little research. What, well, what I happened? I did a little research yeah. here in Louisville. Yeah. They actually have a drive through set up, and that's how they're taking care of healthcare workers. It's a drive through over at the fairgrounds, and they're looking for volunteers to help 
manage that, even if it's just helping with the parking and all that kind of stuff. And if you volunteer for 40 hours, then you get a vaccine. You get a shot. You know what we're opening up here for shots? Met Stadium. Yeah. City yeah that's what they're doing here. They're doing uh, all the stadium, the 49ers, the uh, Warriors, the Sharks, the soccer stadiums. No, well, they, they said they said that the, that uh, there they'll be able to do sixty to seventy thousand a day. Yeah. So you know, I mean, uh, but uh, uh, so far as how you're going to know, Vernon, whether you can get the shot or not, what happened here is we were just told starting Monday you can sign up for it if you're sixty uh, seventy five and older. So we, that's exactly what we did. You know. Well, you have a website, I guess you go to to sign up. Yeah. Yeah, and then I got and then I got this thing uh, which I showed everybody, which says upcoming appointment, and it says oh, this is for Marjorie. Uh, where's mine? Uh, I think mine's back here somewhere. Um, While but, you're looking at that, did everybody hear that the uh, U.S. Attorney in D.C. has opened 170 cases against the rioters? Yes. Yeah. That's great. Oh, really? Yes. Well, and more great. coming. More coming. I hope. Oh, well, here we yeah. go. Yeah, here's the Bennett Schwarzman. Uh, and uh, I got my ID number. How, let's see, hers is 33. What's my, uh, my number? Oh, 31. So somewhere we were we were one person off, but we both got uh, close, uh, close to ID numbers. And it just says, you know, uh, Wednesday, and, you know, it's upcoming appointment. Uh, and uh, it is a confirmation. Then I got the letter said says this is a confirmation, and uh, so uh, hopefully we'll be you know we'll be. Of course, I always worry about everything, but uh, this email confirms your appointment. <coughs> uh, so uh, you know I, I worry about it nonetheless that it's going to screw up and you know uh, not to happen, and then I'm going to be sitting here waiting for six months and not be able to go out for six months. <coughs> but everything will probably happen okay. Yeah. And then Alabama wins the college, the college bowl. So hundreds of thousands of people go down and celebrate mm -hmm. all together, oh, no yeah. masks. You know, where are the cops? Why don't they just start arresting people for not wearing masks? The, the well, did you hear the House of Representatives yeah. now? Oh, they yeah, will yeah. not let you on the floor unless you have a mask. And if you don't have a mask and you're there, you get fined a hundred dollars. And for the second offense, you get a thousand dollar fine. Oh, I heard it was fifty and twenty five hundred. Oh, really? When they were hunkering down against those rioters. Uh, yeah. The Republicans yeah. refused to put masks on, and now three Democrats have come down with COVID. Yep. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Three Democratic. I, I would people. love to hear what those Republicans have to say about that. Besides, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it doesn't work, huh? Yes, I agree, Charlie. Oh, I'll you, bring Phil say? back. Oh, you... I never heard the president say anything about rioting. I never heard that. No. He didn't say that. No, he didn't use the word riot. Is is you of know? Of course uh, not. I heard I heard portions of his speech, which are hard to find now because I think YouTube took them off. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying that uh, that you guys should go down and and tear up the 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 Capitol. But, you know, go take care of that little problem for me, okay? Yeah. And by the way, Georgia, how would you like it if your state didn't work so well? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just... It, we, we, take the cannolis. We live in absolutely amazing times. Here comes John Larkin, and I just saw Ray Renati is coming on here. So, Hey, this would be a royal flush, wouldn't it? Uh, it, uh, yeah, if I if I did that again, let me see here. Can I do that? Is this a royal flush? Is it? I, I guess. Oh, it, or is it jackpot? No, twelve is jackpot. So twelve is jackpot. Yeah, twelve yeah. is jackpot. I think that was only in Skype. Well, <laughs> oh, nice. well, he can't he can't post it, but we can say you know, hey, twelve. Look, okay, that's awesome. Here. Zoom panel, and let me see here, jackpot. Oh, I haven't done jackpot. Okay, here we go, folks. They want jackpot. Jackpot it is. Okay, there we go, folks. Uh, it's a little off-center there, but uh, that's the way it was before, so hell with it. 
Yeah. I'm sorry to change the subject a little bit, but yeah, yeah. This yeah. this is over near Allen. This is in the Cloverleaf at 880. The, the clover? All the homeless people they built a tree house in the Cloverleaf. So Where I, was tell, I was telling Tiffany about this, and the guy just posted this on Facebook. Where is that, Brian? It's 880 on Mallory exit. I went there. Oh, okay. last, I went. I go there Fridays for the Newark the Newark facility, right. and it's like, oh yeah, yeah. <sighs> There's it's, some of those intersections, Brian, that look like cities now. Yeah. Yep. Yep. At least my money went to the right place. <laughs> and over here, Almaden Valley, there's like the big entrance on to 85. Yeah, and I saw that, that one the other area, day. They, I saw it they the other day. Doing Actually, I saw it they today. clean it out. Yeah, but once a year they go through. They caught on fire about two months ago. Oh my god. So anyway, so I, you know, I uh, again, getting back to what was Phil was saying is it was very hard for me to get him to understand that inflammatory rhetoric doesn't have to use the words riot or anything else. It's how you, what you're implying and what you're saying you want. You can even say you don't want something and imply that you really want it. You know, I'm not, yeah. you know, so I, on the other hand, he said that Biden, not this week, but last week, that Biden wouldn't be up to the job because he calls people names, right. you know, like the standard by which it, it uh, be, it's just, it's beyond the pale. Hot in the kettle. Jesus. Uh, by the way, Alex, did you get my application for Antifa? Yeah, I, I sent my dues. No, I didn't. I sent, I sent in my application, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Do, you, do you know if you go to Antifa.com, what comes up <laughs> is Joe Biden's site. Yeah. So somebody went out and bought Antifa.com and then decided to do that. Oh, that's uh, probably, probably a right-winger. Probably yeah, right way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, the the insane part about it is, is there is no Antifa. I mean, to speak of. In fact, the FBI said today, Antifa is a philosophy, not an organized group. Yep. And wouldn't they be taking credit if, if they were a group? Oh, of course. You know, like, wouldn't they be standing up and doing this? You know, it, yeah. come on. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how many how many Atifa members own a Trump flag? Yeah, yeah. Right. exactly. I said they go to the Trump. They go to the Trump supply store. Listen, and they buy all that. Stuff. I can go online right now and I can find white supremacist groups. I can go right online and find neo-Nazi groups. Yeah. You know, but That's I can't can find. I I, I cannot stuff. find Antifa. Oh, wow, I just there. typed in Antifa.com. <laughs> right yeah, to Biden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, what were you saying, that off Jeff? As, a, as the business expense. First Jeff, then Todd. Yes, Jeff. Didn't uh, during World War II, the Italians were uh, doing that? We had Antifa going? Yeah. Antifa was anti-fascist. That's what it means. Right. Oh, anti-fascist. Anti-fascist. Yeah. Yeah. Anti-fascist. Anti yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, like Todd and then uh, then uh, Brian. Uh, That's Todd. why I signed up, Jeff. I'm anti-fascist. Yeah. Me too. Okay. Todd? I was yeah, agreeing with my man what he was saying because, I mean, like, there's really no Antifa in the United States like talking about. It's like a couple of people that might have the philosophy, you know what I'm saying, of it, you know, but nobody's really uh, following exactly, you know, like, you know, going out and 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 and, and blowing up stuff. They're like an idea, you know what I mean? When Trump says it, he like, it's like, remember when he was saying that he had like a, a, a lawyer or something that he was, he made up some name. It's the same type of thing that he's using the exact same way. It's the caravan. Yeah. You know, I'm still waiting for the caravan. Yeah. Because well, that, it's, it's, it's create an other that we should all be afraid of, but I can save you. You know, it, it's, it's a classic, it's a classic, no it's a classic fascist uh, thing to do. So you create a group that doesn't exist and say that they're the enemy at the door. Yes, Brian Ludwig. Yes, uh, regarding what uh, Robert Natal, probably pushing your last name, I apologize, uh, said regarding uh, Phil, I missed that, I missed that uh, uh, interview, but uh, when Phil said that, uh, he doesn't think 
Biden is up to the job because he calls people names. Um, uh, Alex, did you by any chance ask him if when Trump kept referring to uh, what's her name? Uh, Elizabeth Warren as Pocahontas. Pocahontas, Pocahontas yeah. was her birth name. So he wasn't really calling her a name. Of course he was. Yeah. Or he's a lying head. head. Right. They're both fucking hypocrites. Sleepy Nobody Joe. calls people more names than Trump. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, not anymore. Crooked Hillary. Sleepy yeah, Joe. He, he, this must be driving Little him Marco. Cra- must be driving him crazy name? that he doesn't, he doesn't have Twitter. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't have Twitter. The networks, I saw him, he was giving a speech today down at the wall, and a lot of the networks weren't even carrying him. Yeah. I saw an article online, the headline said that he's going apoplectic over the fact that he can't tweet anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, this is this really hurts him, you know. I, I, I saw something online today that a, a hacker, a female hacker, anticipated parlor going blank and so she downloaded 56 terabytes of data from that site before it got cut off the fuck out of here that's ridiculous wow. <laughs> just in case it's needed by law enforcement right yeah. i'm one of those Never i'm heard. one of those minority leftists though who don't think that big tech made the right decision in censoring this man i don't think they're censoring anybody brian oh they're they're business people this is their pre- business like- Hey, if I own a store and I don't want somebody coming into my store because every time he comes in, he's a pain in the ass, I say, you're banned from here. You I can't understand come that argument, but when big tech is influencing politicians the way that the military-industrial complex is, I don't consider them, I don't uh, think I don't consider them a I private don't, business I, I, anymore. I don't they think, need to be regulated like a public utility is what they need to be done. Why? Well, why? I, they didn't I, start out as a public utility. I mean, these guys started companies that they didn't even know if they'd ever make a penny off of them, and then somehow they became very popular and, and, and very powerful but, uh, you know, there are enough of them out there that it doesn't constitute uh, uh, a, uh, a, what do you call it, a, a monopoly. Uh, yes, Alan. Oh, I see in the news the U.S. House passes a measure urging Vice President Trump to remove uh, Vice President Trump. Yeah, just Vice that. President Pence to remove Trump. From He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. Why, why waste your time? No, he's already said it in writing that he won't do it. Yep. I think they do it perfun- as a perfunctory move. Yeah. You know, yeah. They, they, they just want to have a waste of time. Why don't they be, why aren't they working on getting more vaccines to us? Yeah, well, yeah. And, or getting money to us. You know, that Absolutely. might help too. You know, the, we still have a COVID bill waiting there that has not been signed or passed or voted on. You know, uh, let's take care of that, too. You can take care of all of this at the same time. I mean, Biden had a good idea. He said, you want to have an impeachment? Fine. What you do is you split your session up into two halves, morning and and afternoon. And in the morning, you do my appointments. And on the afternoon, you do the impeachment. (laughs) But that was a fine idea. Somebody else said, do it. In uh, one day a week. I heard that. Too. Yeah. But, I mean, there's no rush. Once we've impeached him, there's no rush to try him because right. he, he can still be tried and uh, have, have all those things happen to him that would happen to him after the fact. You know, take away his Secret Service, take away his pension, take away his health, take away uh, what is there, a couple other things they take away, his ability to run again. Then get yeah, I'm waiting to see yeah. what New York and New Jersey does. Huh? I'm waiting to see what New York and New Jersey. Because well, you know, well, oh, New, oh, Jer- in New Jersey, in New Jersey, they t- just take you out to a swamp and shoot you. Well, yeah, maybe uh, Soprano <laughs> style. We can only hope. But you know, McConnell suggested that he might that he's uh, that he's uh, pissed off with Trump and that he, he might move forward with motions. Oh no, but he, he, I don't believe it. No, I don't believe no, it no, personally. He, but, he is all for the impeachment. He says the reason why. Said. Is he wants to make him impotent within the Republican Party? Yeah, and, we'll see. And, uh, we'll, and we'll he'll, see about he, he, but you listen to Fox on the way home tonight, and they said that that's not true, and they yeah. said McCarthy was not true either. I heard that. McCarthy is I, such I a mealy mouth; he doesn't I have an opinion of his own. They, how are they Whatever not he tr- wants to take an opinion, are, uh, he always uh, hold pulls on a second, other people. Robert. Hold yeah, on a second, Robert. How, how? How is it not true? They said, they said it. That, 
I know, but they they're 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 pushing the same agenda that they always do. They throw. I don't know. I didn't get a chance to listen to the whole thing, but they were saying McCarthy and McConnell are not actually saying that they're restating well of course you but you heard it you heard it on fox yes rob i heard it on hannity and that's got to be the truth (laughs) i I know the truth i'm sure laura brought it right back up too listen let's think about the politics of this for a minute forget the incident for a second and think about the politics let's imagine for a minute that you're marco rubio let's imagine that i know it's hard Let's imagine you're Ted Cruz. Let's imagine you're Tom Cotton. And let's ask ourselves the following. Wouldn't it be nice if Trump were out of the picture for 2024? Yeah. Because until he's out of the picture, you got to keep your mouth shut about your intentions. You're not able to come forward and start your campaign, even by inference. These people, if they hear that Trump is out of the picture will now go racing into the vacuum and try to secure the top dog spot for 2024. I guarantee you they're sitting home with their fingers crossed, but they can't say that publicly because to do so would piss off the Trump base and they can't afford to do that. By the way, Charlie, how's Ted Cruz doing Right now, in the in the news and in uh, in Texas, he's getting skewered. Houston, Houston. every newspaper in Texas has called for his resignation. Houston Chronicle yeah. has wow. he said anything? He looks like he's disappeared. He hadn't said a word. I haven't heard a thing. But I haven't seen anything from him. He's just disappeared. He's on vacation. He's a staunch racist. Pan fishing. Oh yeah. You talk about Ted Cruz. Yeah. yeah, he was on with Cuomo today on CNN, and Cuomo just ripped him a new one. Good, good. Oh, really? I gotta see that. I'm sure it's on YouTube by now. Yeah, it is. It's on YouTube. He's wow. the face you'd most like to punch, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if yes. they, if they made a punching bag with his face on it, it would sell really well. Oh yeah, I'd buy one. <laughs> Tucker Tucker Carlson does it for me. He always has that look on his yeah. face. Yeah. It's like he just took he he well, you know, I used to be on he Tucker Carlson's like, show like, once a I week. Every, I used to be on Tucker Carlson's show every week. Fuck him. Uh, and I never, him? I never met him because he was out in New Jersey, and I was in a little studio in New York when on MS, when he was on MSNBC, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, John, how do you feel about all this? You're quiet tonight. Um, I, I, I think they're gonna, um, I think they're gonna try him in the uh, Senate. Because because uh, tomorrow they're going to impeach him, and I think I think McConnell's going to bring it up. I think McConnell's sick of the fucker. Me I too. Really I got a feeling he's going to do sure. it. What what has he been? What has he done all along to make any friends out of these people? You know, all he know. does is vilify them when they don't do what he wants them to do. <laughs> he, and, he fucking lost the Senate for them. You know. Oh, yeah. he, he lost that. It, Georgia would have been won by the Republicans if it hadn't been for Trump. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Brian. Absolutely. Well, I would say Georgia would have been won by the Republicans and the White House would have been won by Trump if it weren't for COVID, one. And two, Mm -hmm. uh, McConnell can, under normal circumstances with a normal antagonistic politician who isn't Trump of the same party, he could try to employ the, McConnell could try to employ the strategy of cutting off the limb or a limb or two to save the body from an infection. The problem with the Republican Party is they're so plagued and polluted by MAGAites that if he tried doing that, he'd wind up leaving only his head intact. The rest of the body would have to go. And the Republican Party, metaphorically speaking, would die as a result. So, yeah, damned if he does and fucked if he doesn't. So, yeah. Was it yeah, COVID but the good thing, him, or was it his reaction to COVID? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm just saying, if it weren't for COVID. So his reaction, you know, oh, okay. you're talking about Trump, right? Agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. His reaction was shitty and it cost him, you and know, it agree. ultimately cost him the presidency. But he if it could have used what I'm saying COVID. If it weren't for COVID, he'd, he'd, he'd be our president for, if, for another four if, years. If he used COVID properly, he could have won in a landslide. Uh, I yeah. Don't know. Vernon? I don't, Vernon. Know. I don't know if I agree with that because Hold on, Vernon. he got 75 million votes, right? But we did, but the de- Democrats got more. I don't care what would have happened, you know. The Democrats were just fucking sick to shit of, of Trump, and they wanted. But he him got, 
Uh, he, he got more votes. Trump got more votes by Republicans and turncoat or whatever Democrats uh, in 2020 than he got in 2016 too. He got oh, more votes than people. Yeah. More people voted for Trump in 2020 than they did in, in 2016. Right. And if, I like know. I said, if it weren't for COVID, hmm. I don't know. You know? I just don't know. Uh, Vernon Nunn's got his hand up. Vernon. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to speak on behalf of Mitch McConnell, my senior senator from oh, Kentucky. Yeah. Oh, okay. He is. He is a consummate. He is a consummate. He's a consummate politician. And I think two things have happened that have caused him to change his mind about Trump. Number one, he got reelected. He's not going to be up for reelection again for six years. Mm-hmm. Number two, he found out about the Fourteenth Amendment, Section Three, which means that on a simple majority the Senate can ban Trump for life from holding public office. And he'll want that. And he'll want that. Yes, he will. To purge Trump from the Republican Party. What's to stop Trump from running as a third party and disrupting? He can't run. No, he can't run. He can't hold office. He can't hold office. He cannot hold office. But at the very least, he can influence... He can he opens his mouth and he influences. But, but he, he if he, he, he but, if, if, but if he can't if he can't hold office, he's he away. just he's just doing this, you know. Yeah, that'll <laughs> and, die away. And, and they don't consider if he can't hold office, he's no need. They have no need for him. Yes, Todd. Well, the other thing that um, you know, I don't know if everybody's paying attention is that really Trump can't do anything anymore because all of his friends, you know, left him. Since it's like, what, we got, what, it's eight or nine days more left. So yeah. now everybody now decides to get off the Trump bandwagon. Think about that logically. Then on top of that, the Iranians are going to get his ass. Don't forget yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody forget about that? Or you think Putin's going to back him up? My man Putin, Vladimir? Somebody asked Putin in a press conference, because he holds a press conference once a year, and they asked him in the press conference, uh, if uh, Trump gets uh, thrown out of the United States, uh, could he come here? And basically, Putin gave the impression that he didn't want him coming to Russia. Yeah, maybe he'll share a room with Snowden or something. Yeah, yeah. It'd be bad for business in, in Russia. Uh, Todd? I'll tell you what it'll do to him. What? What they're going to do to him is the same thing that they did to that, that, that gentleman that um, was, uh, got dropped off in Germany. They're going to put the shit in the drawers, and then he ain't going to be dropped off in Germany, and they're going to let us fly his fucking fat ass back to the United States to die. Yeah. I'm saying, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm a New Yorker through and through. I've been born and raised, okay? I knew about Trump a long time ago. I tried to warn everybody. Nobody listened to me. Nobody listened to me. So I'm sorry that the four years of the hell we've been put through, but I tried to get my dad on here um, on Christmas, but, you know, I was, you know, in Virginia, so. Yeah. Yeah. Alan. Alan. I I heard that he applied to move to Venezuela and they said he was too crooked. No. (laughs) You know what my question for the week is? After watching the events of last week, my question is what purpose exactly does Homeland Security serve anymore? Yeah. Well, the head of Homeland Security just <laughs> resigned. Yeah, okay, but did it take did it take like Muslim headdresses for him to get involved? You know, is that what it took? Did Rob, it take I got him doing Rob, blackface you know, for him to get involved? Uh, Charlie. Yeah, and that was my question. I said, do you think that if that had been Muslims, you know, ISIS or Al Qaeda trashing the capital, you think anybody would be calling for Oh, let, let's be lenient on them. Yeah. Let, let's take it easy. Let's unity. Yeah, right. right. Well, the fact well, there would have been a bunch of dead bodies laying out in the courtyard oh, of the yeah. Capitol. Yeah. yeah, including Trump's. Well, the fact I is mean, that, that, you know, that uh, uh, next week. Uh, I don't know what, you know, we always say, well, what, what, if, <gasps> what, what if these were Muslims and what if these were Black Lives Matter? And we can, we can. Uh, hypothesize about all of that. What we have to do is to deal with what is. And what is, is those people who were trying to overthrow the United States of America were neo-Nazis, 
were racist, were white supremacists. I mean, they were of, they were QAnon people. Like guy with the horns called himself the QAnon shaman. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, William Wallace is a uh, like gay a... descendant. What? I said it's what I always call him uh, William Wallace's, you know, Braveheart fan. Oh yeah, Braveheart. William Wallace's gay descendant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mother yeah. lodged a complaint. Did you guys read that? Who? Yeah. The guy with the horns, his mother lodged a complaint oh, yeah. that he isn't eating because they don't offer him organic meals. Oh, they complied, though. They started feeding him organic meals. So, you know, just you know, when that you figure really, the yeah. criminal justice system is racist. There you go, right there. Yeah. Well, yes, uh, 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 yes, uh, 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 Ray. I saw an interview of the horn guy. Uh, it was about 20 minutes long. He's completely out of his mind. Yeah. <laughs> no, really? Uh, yeah, totally. He's, he's, he's insane. He's what was your yeah. first clue, Ray? No, I mean, like, he's really insane about everything. He's just he's like a paranoid schizophrenic. Next, you're going to tell me the sky is blue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. I mean, I, it's, it was incredible, this, this interview. Well, so was that woman that got shot. Oh, yeah. 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 Was really yeah. bonkers. Yeah. And I have I two, two, two people got up. killed. Two people have gotten killed so far, right? In all of this, five. No, five. Six, five, actually. Five. 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 Excuse me. One person committed suicide. Well, there was one woman. There was yeah, one woman. Police officer. Two committed. people committed. Yeah, there was one I, woman who was people. was trampled wow. to death, wearing a "Don't tread on Don't me" t-shirt. Don't tread on me. <laughs> yeah. Come on, that's funny. Now that, how, is, hilarious. that is hilarious. That is. <laughs> that's what that comedy. That that's that's the basis of all good comedy. Is you that can't write shit better than that? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Especially if you got a dark sense of humor like me. Wow, yeah. karma's a bitch. Indeed, it is. Yeah. As she found out. Me. Be careful what you ask for. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's like, I don't like to be in a traffic jam next to somebody from New Hampshire when their license plate says live free or die. You know, like, <laughs> what, what <is> that? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, 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 our truck driver tonight, our, our, uh, is not uh, St what Steve, but it's, uh, it's Todd. And so I would ask Todd, where are you tonight, Todd? Oh, well, right now. Um, I'm heading back down to Dallas, Texas, okay. uh, out of Ohio. I'm trying to run in the middle right there in um, that nice little spot. Because, uh, I, have, like I told you guys before, I lost my old truck, so I got a new truck. I got a Packard engine, so I can't get my speed turned up. So I'm stuck at 65 miles an hour no. instead of my old truck where I can do 80, 90. What, 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 why, why, why can't your engine do more? <laughs> Well, because the company I pull for, I got the truck through, so um, they don't wish to turn the truck up on me for a while. It's um, a restriction. And I really don't have time for it. I normally will go to the diesel doctor, which I normally would do, but I have a Packard engine, and I have to take the truck to uh, Kenworth. Hmm. Okay, well, we don't know about what you're talking about, but I assume that it's all. I do. Yeah, that's so, cool. so, so, I, I know what you're talking about, Todd. I hear you. Thank you. I knew. I knew somebody did. Thank oh, you. Kevin, it's Kevin. funny when the companies and then the companies wonder why you're taking so long and to, to get to the destination, and you're saying, "Well, you you, you cut me cut off." Well, I would say the danger. What do you want exactly. to, do? to me, the great thing. Exactly. Lie? That's why I don't complain about the, it. The great... I'm like, hey, look. You guys don't let me drive like I normally do. I've been driving for you guys for a very long time. I've been driving 18 wheelers for 17 years. No problems or nothing like that. So if you guys want me to drive at 65, do not bitch or complain. Shut your mouths. Yep. Give me my nice long loads, and I will take my sweet ass time to where I got a good. <laughs> if you have a problem, I can easily go work at fucking McDonald's. Yeah, but here's here's wait, wait, here's my question, Todd. You would think you would need that extra speed if you had, say, some kind of emergency situation where you had to speed up to get ahead of something to prevent something from happening. No, you're screwed all the no, time. You're screwed. Yeah. You're screwed. Well, they they exactly. should they should care more about that than whether you you know. Go I'm too in fast. Tornado Alley. Yeah. No shit. Well, in Texas, everybody's doing ninety, and he's punting along yeah, to sixty-five. Try. You try, Gee, and pass, exactly. try and pass somebody with 80,000 miles and you get about halfway through the pass and you're sitting there going, 
shit. And people well, are behind what, what, I, what I would do, cut. what I would do is when you're behind the wheel, kind of scoot down so you look like you're an old person at the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> <You know. laughs> I usually do that. I usually do that. I usually do that, and I kind of act like I just – I don't even look at the other trucks flying by me at See, 90. All, the reason I was asking Put your you, dog's you, paws up on the steering wheel. Yeah. That would really freak them out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the reason I was straight. asking you where you were – was because I just wanted to say, you know, what are people talking about out there about this? Do you run into people who will go good for them attacking the Capitol? I mean. Yeah, I bumped into a lot of people over the road uh, after everything that happened. Yeah, and um, there's, there's a lot of, um, I don't even know, I guess I got to say Trump supporters and, and they yeah. want to fight everybody brown. Yeah, Everybody brown mm -hmm. and um it's kind of funny because uh, they don't really bother me too much because I guess I'm not a small brown person. But whenever I see all the other individuals that are Muslim or Asian, anybody that's not Caucasian. Yeah. So I jump out the truck and I defend men, women. I don't care who it is, but I try not to get my hands dirty, but I try to keep the peace to get the other people back in the trucks or the vehicles or the cars and go down the road. You, but it's, it's you, ridiculous. You, you know they have the flags yeah. out. And they got the, the rebel flags. They're driving down the road. They're cutting us off. They're slamming in front of us and slamming on the brakes. By the way, and I'm by like, the, well, well, I don't want to fuck up my truck. By the, by the but way. But at the same time, yeah, I'm just trying to move. I'd rather just run them over. Yeah. But by the way. trying by to the, sabotage you. Alan, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I, it, you know, a big mirror on a truck, it holds an AR-15 just right, and when they try and cut you off, you pull the trigger. By the way, Todd, I hear I hear that your father used to be a cop. Yes, he's a retired police officer from New York City. Um, back in the 70s and... 70s, I remember he was around there when um, Malcolm X was assassinated. I remember that, and Martin Luther King. So well, thank it was you for your 70s service. and 60s. 68 was King. Yeah. Yes. And I chill with my dad on um, Christmas. I was going to chill with him on um, New Year's, but I, I had a bad fever, a real bad freaking fever when I was coming in town. And I thought I might have had the COVID, so then I kind of stayed away for a little bit because I'd rather die before doing anything to my father. Right. That's just the way I am. Well, as I said, and I'm adopted, too. Got to all remember that. I'm adopted. Well, I just want to remind people, you know, we had Tony's mother die. And oh, really? Possibly, I'm sorry. Possi sorry possibly, because, possibly because the sister came over and used to give her a bath, a sponge bath every three days or so. And she came over one night and went home and then suddenly got sick. And it turns out she had COVID. And what happens is, it's a perfect example of how people of the worst spreading areas, and that's in the homes, you know, because wow. you feel that, oh, I'm home. I'm going to take care of mom. I don't need a mask. It's safe here. No, it's not. It's not safe because you're now in the bubble. Everybody, you go to, you go to a relative's house, keep that mask on, damn it. Yep. You know? Right. Uh, wow. And uh, and you don't want anybody to die now because the question, the point is that any day now you're going to get a shot in your arm and things are going to be better, okay? Like Shecky said to me, he says, "I'm not doing anything foolish right now. Not the not not that we're down to the wire." You yeah. Know? So anyway, hey, listen, there's our theme. Thank you, Jeff. Always appreciate it. If you weren't here, I wouldn't notice it was our show. Uh, uh, Charlie Wallace, same goes for you too. Alan, always good to have you here. Nice addition to the show. Brian has become a regular we really enjoy, as does Robert. Todd, whenever you can call, it's always a pleasure. Uh, Brian Nunn, and Brian Nunn, Vernon Nunn, uh, terrific, oh, always terrific. Kevin, my old friend, love to see you there. Uh, and Brian, good having you on here tonight. Please call more often. Uh, John Larkin, glad to see uh, you're, you're up and about. And Ray Renati, that's it for you, Ray. That's all she wrote. 
Anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye uh, back at you, okay? Here we go. There we go. And there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel. They were all dumping out on me before I could dump out on them. Okay, they're gone now. Hey, listen, Jack Bishop is next with the uh, intersection. He'll be doing it on Skype at GabNet Live. That's the address you call, GabNet Live. I'll be back again tomorrow night at uh, 9 o'clock. Uh, we have the sports show with uh, the franchise MC, And then I'll be here at 9, at 1030, Eastern Daylight, Eastern Standard Time. You must not daylight yet, Bennett. Anyway, uh, and in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And be safe out there. Wear a mask. <laughs>